Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I wanted to make a video today about this simple philosophy, but it's so freaking profound and it's just hit home for me. And it's like, you know, it's one of those things that you hear like, I don't know, like this really profound quote on Instagram, you're like, fuck yeah, and you share it and you quote it to other people, but then it takes you maybe a hundred times of hearing it over the span of a few years until it actually sinks in and it's like, oh, fuck, I get it now. Like really, really get it. Well, this happened to me over the weekend and this is the philosophy of how you do anything is how you do everything, right? Or in other words, okay, I'm just walking around in my backyard right now and there are a lot of weeds and I'm getting splinters in my foot and it actually hurts. I know I'm playing it cool right now, but I'm actually in a lot of pain. Oh. Anywho, see? Here's an example of how I do anything is how I do everything is that I use humor to kind of, I don't know, like mask my vulnerability, I suppose. And this is something that JP Sears says a lot of how people who use scar sarcasm usually has a lot of scar tissue, a lot of pain, and usually are the most angriest people. And I can relate to this, you know. Um, it's like instead of me just continuing with the video and being real and honest and vulnerable, I use the excuse of like, oh, oh look, you know what I mean? Like I just make a little joke or this or that. And this has shown up everywhere in my life. You know what I mean? It's like so many times I've had the opportunity to be real and open and vulnerable, but then I, I make a joke. It's like I stuff that emotion down, right? Um, and it just happened here. And this is a prime example of how you do anything is how you do everything, right? And I was noticing just doing the dishes last night. Um, you know, growing up, I've usually been a kind of lazy slob and you know, I had mum do everything for me and you know, it's like Spanish mums. It's like that. <laughs> they do anything for their little boy. I was cleaning the dishes last night and I noticed that my first instinct was, you know what? I'll save it for tomorrow, right? And then I caught myself, hey, hang on, mate. How you do anything is how you do everything. And this has shown up again everywhere in my life where I always delay things to the last minute. It's happened with this YouTube channel. It's happened uh, with high school and university where you know, a teacher would give me an assignment to do. And I could have easily done it on the first day, but for whatever reason, I would have to wait until the very last day, just before the due date, until I actually do it. I get that motivation like, fuck, I better do this, otherwise I'm gonna fail, right? And this also has shown up in my relationships with friends my partner where I'll just put off things and these little things are what make the biggest impact in your life and it's funny because and I can only speak for myself and I just want to give a disclaimer here that I'm not pretending to be like this personal development teacher because I'm not that person if I'm being frank with you guys I'm not that person yet and I have a long 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 way to go and I don't embody a lot of what I say you know what I mean like I'm trying but I'm not that guy yet so just <laughs> Disclaimer, I'm just a moron with experience, right? And I noticed with myself, even when I got into spirituality, which got triggered through my first mushroom trip, which led me to ayahuasca and all this kind of stuff. And it's funny how I'll go to the jungles of Peru to drink this psychedelic brew with a shaman to face my demons and have the most... Like, like really face myself in that way, in a way that most people won't. But then I won't, I'm like, I'm many times I haven't been willing to be vulnerable in front of people, right? Or when I'm going to buy a coffee, I don't look into the person's eye and express love, even if it's something as simple as, have a good one, brother. You know what I mean? Just little things like that, because I noticed uh, like I've noticed this my whole life, but especially after this weekend, um, I come across very shy, kind of awkward and, and insecure, and maybe not through this channel because it's this is a video form, you know what I mean? Like I'm giving you guys the best polished version of myself. Like I'm still being real and genuine as much as I can, but at the same time, it's like I've been afraid of becoming vulnerable. You know, and I'll go through my phases, but 
I guess the point I'm trying to make is that a lot of us will try and do these extreme spiritual modalities to grow and expand and do all these things, but then we won't do the simple things like cleaning our room, washing the dishes, being present with our friends and family, you know, not judging our family for, uh, because of where they're at. Bobby, come here. This is Barbie. Uh, this is my partner's dog, which her niece named. <laughs> oh man, animals are the best. But anyways, I, I just the main point I want to get in this video is well, yeah, obviously, how you do anything is how you do everything, but also just want to share how just the littlest, tiniest things that you do is everything. Oh, little, got a package, mate. And I'm not just talking about my penis. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna wrap up this video because I tend to ramble a lot and go on tangents and this is why I've been scripting most of my videos. Um, and whilst I do like to script videos just because I can like, I don't know, polish up my thoughts, but I also think it's good practice to just get the fuck out of your head and drop into my heart, which is something that uh, I need to do more in my own personal life. I don't want to continue putting these facades up, you know what I mean? And I think it's really important to be vulnerable, you know? And again, I know, see, this may seem like a tangent because I'm talking about how you do anything, how you do everything, but that little tiny thing, me even just making the video, if I just completely just script the videos all the time, make sure it's perfect and polished up, like, yes, it's because of that artistic side of me that wants to make, like, a, a film, I suppose. But another reason, another side to that coin is that I don't... It's like deep down, I don't want people to really see me, you know? And I might preach all this personal development stuff, but then I look at my life and it's like, fuck, I'm still really insecure. I have a lot of addictive tendencies. I can be mean-spirited and cynical. Um, sometimes and and all these things and, and you know we all have these negative traits about ourselves that we want to change and we attempt to change these the, these parts about ourselves or not change I don't want to say change because we're always going to have ineffective personality traits but I think it's our relationship and how we approach these sides of ourselves to the point where we can integrate it and I think a lot of us try to do this by doing like, you know, they will go to like a therapist or drink ayahuasca or, or travel or do like this really big grand thing. And that's great. I think that, that that can be really important and useful for people. But what I've noticed in my own life is that it's the tiny little things that you do. It's when you do the dishes, are you just putting it off for the next day, right? And then you gotta ask yourself, Hang on, where else is this showing up in my life where I'm just putting things off all the time, right? Or how do you show up to work? How do you show up to a coffee shop, you know? Do you give eye contact to the barista that's making your coffee? Or are you just on your phone and just minimal like, hey, yep, just a soy latte, thanks. All right, okay, cool, thank you. Are you doing that or are you giving eye contact. And I'm not saying that you have to start a conversation with everyone you see. Of course not. I'm not actually, I'm not telling you guys to do anything. I'm just asking questions and talking shit, really. <laughs> but also, a useful question we could ask ourselves is like, how are you being present with that barista? Are you looking that person in the eye? You know? Are you expressing love to them? Even if it's as little as, have a good day, brother. That's it, just a few words, but really meaning it. And it might not seem like much, but that tiny little thing is everything. It is everything. Because that relates to how you do your work, how you show up to your relationships, how you approach your diet, your health, your spirituality. Just that one tiny thing. Is how do you communicate? How are you approaching your barista who's making your coffee? One tiny thing, and it's... Dude, and I'm seeing this everywhere. <laughs> how I do anything, right? It's even how I do laundry. Am I just 
washing the clothes and then I'll just put off the drying for later or I'll do the drying and then I'll, I'll, I won't actually put it neatly in my closet and I'll just kind of, oh, I'll save it for later, right? It shows up everywhere. So that's why um, I just want to, the main message of this video, I know it's getting a little bit long now, but I also think it's really important is to like, yeah, really take the little tiniest, minute details of your life as if it's the most important thing in the world because it is <laughs> as above, so below, as it states in Hermeticism. Um, but that's it, guys. Anyways, I hope you got something out of this. If not, it's all good. Hopefully, we'll get you in the next one. Hey, Barbie, say goodbye to the folks. <laughs> all right. Anyways, guys, love you all. Have a good one. Peace.